you did work with a director once that was very difficult and unhappy for you, a destructive relationship that you couldn't get out of. Yeah, Is it, it because the director disrespected your instincts in terms of whatever you presented, or was that the misstep? I mean, is a dance relationship, and was that director just possibly? Stepping? Yeah, possibly that. But he was given to all kinds of wicked devices like humiliation and okay. you know all of the rest of it. You know. So you objected to the psychological games of the relationship. Yeah, and, and, let's just do and he sensed that I objected to it because I started kind of pushing back a little bit. Right. And then at a certain point, he simply cut off communication with me completely. You know right. what I mean? That's how it ended up. And it was its one of the most painful experiences I've ever had because uh, at the time, I interpreted it as a failure on my part to communicate or la, la, la. I don't know what I interpreted, but... Then I became very stroppy, which is <laughs> so. I, the, but it is important to talk about it in a way because uh, you know a lot of the design students who might be watching this mm -hmm. will, at some point, like actors uh, with a director, get into a very destructive relationship. So yes. How do you survive that as an artist? I mean, my destructive relationship with, with John Hirsch it was, uh, you know, as murder, much as, right? As much as I admire him as a director, I was being murdered as an actor. Yes. And I. I did not relate well to it, and I did not survive it well. And you don't Where come I've seen other actors survive that, so it's important for creators to talk about when you get in a destructive creative relationship. Well, you come away, you know, I mean, I carried that with me for a while, my failure to communicate with that guy. Right. And, and I, I mean, I was, I was marked by it for a while, not forever or anything, yeah. but it took me, like you said, to, I'm sure you yeah. too with Hirsch, Hirsch had a similar way of dealing with people sometimes. But uh, I didn't love that experience, and I right. did come away. Uh, I was not unscathed, let's put it that way. Right. But, uh, I mean, then I got kind of, I got kind of naughty myself, you know, and I realized this is going nowhere, you know, we're, we're just going to have what we're going to have. So during the tech rehearsals, I used to, I used to have a, I'm a great globe reader, so I'd have the globe and stuff, you know. And, so I, you know, you know how interminable it is sometimes tech rehearsals between cues and shit. I'd be reading the Globe, you know, and then I'd put it down when I was to, you know. He sent one of the ASMs to me to tell me that he didn't like me reading the newspaper at tech rehearsals. <laughs> so I went after that. I I kept reading my Globe, but I would flick it really hard when I. <laughs> When I would turn the pages, you know how you flick your paper to get it? And no one ever came near me again. <laughs> so I just got the paycheck and walked out the door. <laughs> yep. Uh, yeah, but that's old trash. I mean, yeah, yeah. But sometimes it happens, right? Yeah, it does. And it does. So how do young artists figure out how to deal with it? Well, you have to. You can't lose faith in yourself, or you can't. You can't always imagine that it's your fault somehow. You have to. You have to um, retain your sense of self-respect, of course, and and get through it somehow intact with your uh, with your psyche intact, you know. And I can't recommend any other way to to do it. I mean, prayer might help. I mean, uh, ironically, uh, your situation you pushed back, and I think that was a wise thing to do because you kept a hold of who you were and respected yourself. I didn't push back, and I think I really suffered uh, against this destructive yeah. relationship. I didn't push back, and I really suffered. It took me a long time. And I noticed another actress in that production, she pushed back, she fought. Margot she got Dion. In, Margot Dion. She pushed back, she fought, she got in trouble. It was a destructive relationship. She didn't open well. But she I didn't open well. She couldn't live with the. the but way. she knew who she was. Yeah. When she was playing the play, and she could build during the performances. She could put herself. She could create a, a performance again, because I didn't push back. I didn't know who I was, and I couldn't build anything in performances. Can't I was, work anymore. I was dead meat for six yeah. weeks. In, it was the worst. But it is again. How do you keep a, respect yourself in a very destructive relationship? Well, I chose to push back uh, you know, a little bit, just in my own way. But it was enough, I think, to make him understand and just lay off of me. That's all I wanted at that point anyway. Yeah. It was too late to salvage 
my concept or anything because right. it looked actually very beautiful, but it was his stuff, you know what I mean? Yeah. So that was fine.